Sophia Nikolaidou and her husband were planning to finish building their house this summer. They both used to work in Germany and started work on the house here in Sidero Castro five years ago. But apart from some gardening, there's not much happening right now. Builders are only taking on small jobs since there's so much uncertainty about the future. Would they build a house again? <laughs> Impossible. This was never an affluent area of Greece. But after five years of economic crisis, the local economy has more or less ground to a halt. But in neighboring Bulgaria, things are looking very different. Business is booming for the 30,000 inhabitants in the town of Petric. Numerous Bulgarian business consultants like Vladimir Popov are managing to attract Greek companies across the border. Bulgaria is touted as a tax haven and it also promises investors stability. The attractive things is the tax uh, service here in Bulgaria, I mean the low tax and uh, probably the low social security expenses which they do have. Greek company owners can save over 60 percent in corporate tax and over a third in social welfare contributions and their factories don't even have to relocate. The Greek company, they move just uh, the cash flow here in Bulgaria. They don't move any other real business. In other words, the economy in Petrich is doing great, thanks to Greek letterbox companies. The bleaker the outlook in Greece, the more people look to Bulgaria. This small office is now the official address for some 50 Greek companies. And in Petrich, there are more than 2,000 registered in all. The mass exodus has led to a continual drop in tax revenue in Greece. In order to offset this, Athens has increased tax rates. And that means people in Sidero Castro now have a lot less money to spend than they did five years ago. Local business owners like Nancy Panojutidou are feeling the pinch. People still drink coffee and wine, but instead of two glasses, they only order one. As a result, her turnover has dropped by almost 50 percent in recent years. The whole situation is a vicious circle. Instead of paying high prices in Greece, people go shopping in nearby Bulgaria to save money. But that means the Greek economy is hit even harder. We're 20 kilometers from Bulgaria. We can go across and do our shopping there, and that helps offset our drop in turnover. Hardly anyone buys gasoline on the Greek side of the border. It's just too expensive. Things look very different on the Bulgarian side. Gas here is about a third cheaper than it is in Greece because the taxes here are lower. So most Greeks come here to fill up. But at first glance, there are hardly any Greek cars at the pumps. Business consultant Vladimir Popov knows the reason why. It's a legal technicality. Popov explains that thousands of Greeks who live in the border region have Bulgarian license plates. The reality is that uh, in the last five years, the Greek people, most of them, they just came, they created companies here because of the uh, registration of the cars. That saves them around 75% in tax and insurance fees. But it also means more bad news for the Greek economy. Popov says at least for this region, there's only one way to put a stop to all this. If they decide for some reason to make uh, less taxes down in Greece, maybe most of the companies will decide to re-back down in Greece and to restart the business down in Greece. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. Without more tax hikes, Greece is not likely to get any further loans from the EU. <laughs>